The more you look at stuff, the more you find. And yeah. the more you learn, the more you see. So for uh, inventiveness, it requires taking things that you already know about, but that aren't normally put together. That's and right, then you yeah. put them together in different patterns. Serendipity plays a role. And serendipity is when you discover something you're not in search of. And you always have to kind of keep your mental antennae up and kind of aware. And because again, that's what curiosity does. It kind of keeps these antennae tuned up. So you see something that it's not what you were looking for, but it looks pretty cool. And it looks like it could be really interesting and useful. You can follow that. Yeah, other people might look at it and say, is that just a mistake? It's a dead end. But then you look at it for the properties that it has. This, these are different properties. Well, different. Yeah, Maybe yeah. I can do it. something with that. You know, you, that I, I never believe you make mistakes in the laboratory. Never, this, this, you don't understand the results of the chemistry you just did. We're all working under a street lamp, and we all know what we're acquainted with, what we have, and and everybody is using it to the best of their ability. And then somebody goes out in the darkness with a flashlight and a flashlight science. That's a good analogy, I like that. And uh, you look around and you discover something new, you drag it back into the light, and it stimulates all this new stuff. So I spun my wheels a long time trying to find a product I could put my adhesive on. Right? There was a bunch of them, but none of them were, were really that big or big enough to pursue other than tri in a trivial way. The thing that will keep innovation going is that what we don't know is so much greater than what we do know. We can't miss by sending people out in the darkness. <laughs> yeah, it'll always work.